Hey everybody, welcome back. And in today, what we're gonna be learning is how to set up a Google Cloud project. We're also gonna be looking at how to activate specific APIs, in this case, Google Sheets. And then finally, we'll also be learning on the importance of hiding JSON service account keys. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is go to cloud.google.com. And then once you're here, then sign into your existing Google account or create a new Google account for free. After you've done this, make sure that your account is fully activated. Then you'll also be able to log into the console. Now that you can see the console of Google Cloud Platform, the second thing that you'll want to do is go up into the top left, click on these three hamburger icon menu, and then go to billing. I'd really recommend setting up and linking a billing account. The reason why, and you can do that by manage billing accounts and create an account. The reason why is that although there is a hierarchy to the Google Cloud Platform, having one uh, unified billing account means that you can activate this billing account on a range of your products uh, and projects. Okay, awesome. So you've registered and you've created some billing. Now let's go and create a new project by going over here. And for this one, I'm gonna call it Google Sheets API test. I already did create one, but I will try again and let's see. So I'm gonna attach it to no organization and click create. Now, after this is created, you'll be able to access this again by this test here. So it's currently just initializing it. Right, step five, we're gonna be actually setting up this Google Cloud project with Google Sheets API so that we can specifically read and write to um, Google Sheets in Pandas and Python. So let's go to this now, Google Sheets API test, click on the hamburger menu again, and there's a range of different products and services that Google offer that you can attach to this specific project. We're gonna scroll down to the APIs and services section and go to the library. And then once we're there, we're gonna just type Google Sheets. And then we're gonna click on Google Sheets API, and then we're gonna click enable. So basically what we're doing here is we're saying for this specific project, I want to enable this specific API. Now this API is turned on, but we currently can't access it. And the way that we're gonna be able to access it is by getting something called a service account key. That's one specific way out of many ways that you can access a Google Cloud's projects, uh, resources and APIs that are attached to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click create, create credentials, service account, and then we'll give it a name, so service account, and we're gonna click create. Now, when you create a service account, you can give it a specific role, which will allow you to give it access to specific parts of your Google Cloud project. In this instance, we're just gonna give it everything. So we're gonna say, I'm gonna make sure that this service account that I'm gonna access my project with is gonna be an, uh, gonna have the ownership rights. And then we're gonna click continue. Now, the great thing about this is that we get the potential to download a key. And with this key, we can have a local .json file, which will contain a client secrets and a public key. And this basically means that we can use this with our Python packages so that we can authenticate every time when we run scripts. So let's create a key. So we're gonna select JSON. And I'm gonna save my key into Python for SEO. And I would recommend saving the key here in the next lecture so that we can actually use it. And please recall it service underscore account. Okay, awesome. So we can now effectively authenticate with our Google Cloud project, which has Google Sheets API attached to it. Now, I just wanted to take a bit of time at the end of this video to really highlight why it's important that your JSON files stay hidden and are safe. When you're downloading this local .json file, it can effect effectively access all of the APIs, products and services that you've enabled in your Google Cloud project. So if you forked this repo or cloned this repo and you're actively adding and making commits, then you definitely want to exclude adding this file to that repository. However, if you're just following along and using Git pull origin master and downloading the course content, then that's absolutely fine. It's only if you were actually making a clone of it yourself and pushing it to your own repository. Yeah, so now let's get into the next lecture where we'll be actually pushing and reading and writing data to Google Sheets.